For the third proposition of Book 2 of Euclid's Elements, if a straight line be cut at random, the rectangle contained by the whole and one of the segments is equal to the rectangle contained by the segments and the square on the aforesaid segment. So essentially, if we start with some line, line AB in this case, and we cut it randomly at C, then what this proof is saying is that if we took a rectangle formed by AB and one of the segments, let's say segment BC, then this rectangle would be equal to the rectangle formed by the segments, so the rectangle formed by AC and BC, plus the square on this segment BC. And if you want to consider this algebraically, then what we're essentially trying to prove is that if we call this length A and this length B, then we're forming the rectangle from this entire line A plus B and the line BC or this little b here. And this proof is saying that this product here would be equal to the square on this segment, so that's just BC, plus the rectangle formed by the segments, so just A times B. So essentially, proving this geometric statement, we are also proving this algebraic statement. So to start this proof, let's first start by constructing a square on the line CB. So let's create a square here, and we can label these points E and F so that we just created a square formed by C, B, E, and F. And we can do this because of book one, proposition number 46. And from here, let's construct a line AD that's parallel to the line CF. So we're creating AD parallel to CF. So that'll be right here. And we can extend the line EF to meet at this point D. So what we first did by constructing this parallel line is to use book one, proposition number 31, and then extending this line EF to meet at this point D. We essentially just created the line ED, which we can do because of postulate number two. And now what you can notice is that this rectangle, which we can call AE, so this big rectangle here is just composed of this rectangle and this square. So let's write down that fact essentially, that the rectangle AE, this big rectangle, is equal to this rectangle AF plus this square CE. So plus the square CE. But this rectangle AE, let's think about the lines that contain this rectangle. So AE, this big rectangle, is contained by the line AB and BE. But BE, since CBEF is a square, this line BE is equal to these other three sides within the square. So in essence, what we can write is that BE is equal to BC. And since AE, the rectangle, is contained by AB and BE, we can also say that this is contained by AB and BC. So we're rewriting that the rectangle AE is simply the rectangle contained by the lines AB and BC. And again, this is true because BE and BC are the same. And this rectangle is equal to the rectangle on AF and the square on CE. But the rectangle on AF, let's look at this more closely. So this rectangle is contained by AC and AD, but AD is equal to CF, and CF is equal to BC. So AF, this rectangle, we can really say that it's contained by the line AC and BC, since BC is equal to AD. So AF is contained by AC 
and BC. And the square on CE, we already know that that's contained by BC and BC. So I'll just rewrite that. We have the square contained by BC and BC. And notice that what we just wrote here, this equation, this is exactly what we we're trying to prove. So we can end our proof here with QED.